Hello and welcome back to Randall Gaming. Today I'm going to be jumping up into some PC building simulator that recently just came out for free on Epic Games. It has now went back up in price, but I snagged it when it was free and got some expansions. As you can see, this is one of them. Um, I have a couple other expansions that I may or may not go to, but today I'm not sure what I'm going to be getting myself into building-wise. Um, I do have some experience with this game. I When it first came out, I ended up playing like 20 plus hours of it within the first couple days, which is not healthy at all. But, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I have any builds out right now. I know there will be one that I do have to build, I'm pretty sure. Um, I recently just built this PC, which is my... Um, it keeps saying incomplete case when it's not. I don't know. Or, well, there's some parts of it that's not complete, I guess. But I ended up uh, rebuilding this PC in the uh, Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic because I really like that case. And that's what my dream PC is going to be in eventually. Um, I really like this game because it features, like, this is my actual background in this game. And also... The time is the actual time it is right now, which I think is really cool. Um, let's see. So I do actually have a build. I want me to build a PC that can go minimum spec on that. And budget's $1,000, labor $200. Um, I believe I might already have some stuff for this. Actually, I can just use this PC. No, no. Um, let's see. Do I have any extras over here in my storage? I think, yeah. It looks like we do have a couple Lee and Lees that I ended up purchasing a little while ago. Let's remove these case panels. Um, move this side. This back one and then remove this because this is where the hard drives go and then I'm gonna have to remove these uh, PCI covers and then I should have a motherboard and processor yep right here and I already have, like, a thing that does the standoffs for me. Um, I already purchased that. And then, let's go CPU. Uh, 15, AMD Ryzen 5 quad, quad Core 1500X. Go ahead and install that. Close the CPU, grab some thermal paste, which I don't know why, but the thermal paste sucks, and they only give you a little bit of thermal paste. It's just like a tiny drop, which is stupid. Um, let's, let me go to the shop and get me a CPU cooler. Um... Gotta be an AM4. I try to theme my builds normally. Let's get the white one. Oil, add that to cart. Same day delivery. Maybe by now. There we go. We'll come over here. Grab my cooler. Oh, I didn't think about that. Um, of course it doesn't fit in this case. Um, let me see. Lord none. Feudal Dynasty. Oh, well. 
six four sixteen hundred X and he needs minimum spec. Well it might be recommended spec. Um Normally with these builds, I'd normally do recommended spec because I'll get a little bit more money out of them. Um, let's see, so you need 16 gigabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of VRAM. I think I, yeah, I was gonna say I'm probably gonna use like the same. Uh, oh, same graphics card as what. I haven't. This is my personal rig in the game. Um, I wish my rig in real life was like this. Um, hopefully, that CPU will be able to run it that I have installed. But I actually need to buy another s cooler because apparently that cooler did not work. It must have to be a height below. 157 millimeters, so yay. Let me see, there was one up here. But I can't use the RGB one. Oh wait, I forgot. I got some. Uh, yeah, I got some liquid coolers. Um. I'm gonna try this one. Why not? We're gonna make him have a nice PC. Oh wait, I may have to buy a power supply. Um, should be good with a 550 watt power supply. Get that here today, that way we don't have to worry about that. That was a misclick. Grab everything from here. And then we'll install the memory, which we're going to go 16 gigabytes. And did I put that in there? Nope, I did. Okay, install this. Uh, um, what do you mean? It doesn't fit. Now does it fit? What do you mean it doesn't fit? And this one's incompatible. So it's got to be like a crappy one probably. I don't think that it can be a nice one. Which sucks. I'd rather give them a nice one. So the 140 doesn't fit. Would a 120 fit? If not a 120, then I guess I'll just do this one. And I'll sell the rest of those later if they don't work. Or just keep them and use them in other builds, probably is what I'm gonna do. CPU cooling. There we go. So, where do I want this to mount? I was gonna do up here. And then I was going to install some case fans. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, I can put that down there. So let me try this instead. Wait, what? Okay, 
Now let's try that again. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. I don't know why it's so dark. I don't understand that. But I guess that works. And then I'm just going to put a bunch of these case fans in real quick. These are RGB fans. And RGB looks really good in this case. This is the uh, Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic Razor Edition. So it has like the... Uh, Razor, I don't know what you want to call it. Now these exhaust fans are RGB as well, but you're not going to see the RGB. That's why in my case, since it's going to be my own build, um, I don't really care that I don't see them. I still can, or I want to see them, so I just took off the panel. But since this is for a customer, I'm going to leave the panel on there. So now I'm going to put the dust filter back there and the dust filter back up top. Because see, it completely blocks it off. But you'll still be able to see some of them. Okay. And then over here, let's go ahead and get the storage in here. We're going to give them... We'll give them a one terabyte. Especially nowadays. Actually, we'll give them two terabyte. That way they have a little bit extra for them. Um, and then... Power supply. I think we're going to do a 550. For this guy. And then let's cable these all up. Connect that liquid cooler and the hard drive and the both hard drives. Connect all these case fans. Which is ridiculous how many there is. <laughs> Okay, so now the last thing I believe would be the graphics card, and I'm going to give them the 1060 overclock edition after I remove that and install the other PCI cover. Let's try this again. There we go. Cable that up. And then let's go ahead and install these side panels. Oh, let's get this first. And then we'll install the side panel back here. And then we'll install the front side panel, and then the top one. And then we'll install our USB drive, so that we can get the OS on here. And there we go. We have RGB. And we have a running computer. Now I am going to go in and fix all of the RGB to make it addressable to a certain caller. Um, I hate that freaking noise. That is the worst noise ever. Um, I'm going to benchmark it. 
also for them and stress test it make sure everything runs gonna make sure that it will run this certain game hopefully I don't have to change the CPU I may have to um, and then lighting And then this is to make sure that it's gonna be okay to run everything basically. Um, but once that installs, we should be good to restart. I'm pretty sure I do have an overclockable uh, CPU. But I'm not going to overclock it. Um, the main thing I want to look at right now is this right here. Let's just do a select all. And we're going to go for a like a cyan or whatever you want to call it and let's see oh that looks nice I really like that that looks so cool and then my RGB build back there that looks so cool I like the like glow under here it looks really cool um, let's get rid of that do the will it run make sure that it will run this game and it will not so I do need to upgrade my CPU which I don't know if I can because I'm pretty sure that I have like the best of the best right now let me check that out real quick oh no I don't so I can get a Ryzen 7. Okay. So I am going to change out the CPU real quick. Um, I think graphics is... Everything else I think is good. It's just... Let me check. Yeah, everything else is good. Um, good on that aspect. And then the other thing is... I'm gonna do this real quick, which is making sure everything stays cool and everything. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Well, um, yeah, that's not good. Uh, I don't know why it just blue screened. That doesn't make sense. I don't know why it blue screened. It had thermal paste and everything on it. Oh wait, it may have bottlenecked it. Wait, did I? Yeah, right there. It may have bottlenecked it, and that's probably what happened. It's the only thing I can think of. And then... just me on the safe side let's power it right on oh cables forgot about that okay now let's power it on hopefully it doesn't blue screen now but that's an issue That's a big issue. 
Um, why is that blue screening? Normally, oh, I'm stupid. Guess who forgot to put thermal paste on their CPU? This guy. That explains why it wasn't working. Let's try this now. Is it going to work? Please work. That's what happened. I have a feeling that's what it was, is that the CPU was not able to handle that GPU that I installed. I bet that's why. I can almost guarantee you that's why. But it's working now. So, while that's doing that... Oh. Um, this I'm going to end up putting f up for sale because I'm not going to use this case for anything. Um, let, let me grab this. Okay. I think I should be good to put everything back now. Let's all that dust filter. Not that side panel. Then this. Well, there we go. So that's good. Stress test it real quick. Hopefully it doesn't blue screen. If it doesn't blue screen, I think we'll be good. I should probably start uh, stress testing these a lot more than what I actually do. Okay, sweet. It worked. So I'm going to just shut this one down, it is so freaking loud, then I'm going to come over here, place this in the delivery area, and we'll go back to my email, and collect the money. I got seventeen fifty-five for that build. I don't think, I think I did go over budget a little bit, aka $500. But, still got a 5 star review, so I'll take it. Um, I just got some more RGB fans, and a case, and a uh, new CPU uh, cooler. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, if you guys like this type of stuff... Please let me know, and I will make some more videos on it. Oh, wait, this is my inventory? I did not know that. That's cool. Um, but, yeah, this is probably going to be the end of this video, and I hope to see you on the next one.